Daddy, do you like your Starbucks? Hey, Eli. What's yours? You like nice. it? Salty caramel cold brew? Coffee, caramel with cold brew and cold foam. Yummy, yummy. It's actually regular milk, but she thinks it's Starbucks. Hey yeah, guys, so I am here on a Sunday and I wanted to show you what, I got two things actually. This is it. Yeah, so I got a, yesterday I went to Target and I got this professional makeup lift and snatch an eyebrow tent pen. And then I also got this L'Oreal Mascara, which is called Panorama. I'm going to try that out today. I don't know how it's going to be, but I'm going to try it out. I'm hoping that it's going to look okay. I'm crossing fingers and toes a little bit. So um, I'm not going to put cream on today because it's just going to be a simple day today. It's I'm, we're, well, I'm just waiting for my mom to come because she. we're going to do some shopping together and maybe getting a little snack. So... So, I don't know. I don't think this is going to be a, I think what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to, that pencil, it's like, mm, it's okay, hold on. I'm going to use my, my backup pencil here if I can find it. Wait a second. There you go. So I'm going to use this to kind of line it up. And then use... Let's see. Oh. So I'm trying to use this. So I kind of lined them up. And let's see. kind of putting in that this thing I mean it looks filled in definitely But I think I'm going to still have to, yeah, let's see. It's gonna work out. I don't know. Let's see. Mm. I do need to like, kind of outline it better with a key tip.
It definitely, I have to say, it definitely kind of helped with filling it in for sure. Um, it definitely helped fill it in for sure, I think. Um, Definitely help that for sure. But I don't know if it definitely helped fill it in. But I don't know if it would be I don't know if it's um Definitely helped it in. It definitely helped it fill it in for sure. Um, but I feel like I still need another, I, I feel like I'm gonna still need like a pencil though to kind of help shape the bottom part because this is very when you're putting it on there, it feels very flimsy when you're, when you're putting it there. Or it feels flimsy at least. It feels kind of flimsy, I guess, if that makes any sense. It definitely, it's good for little details, I think. I feel like it's good for little details. Um, it does good little details for sure. But I don't think it's, it's not bad. But you, you can't just use this and gel and that's it. I don't think, yeah, like this is so thin, it's supposed to make basically little hairs. And so I thought like I would be able to draw at least a line on the bottom to help shape it. So, but it doesn't really do that. So you kind of need the pencil to help because I always like to draw a line underneath so it can kind of give me a baseline. So a baseline, where do I start like putting, um, adding more, uh, where do I need to add more color? So, mm, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's good. It's just, you can't use it by itself. I don't think, um, unless your eyebrows are already super shapened already and you're just filling in little bits. That is no biggie. But, all right, so now I'm using the mascara. I do like the fact it's not cakey. So that's nice. Now this was $12 at Target. So I'm hoping like spending a little bit more on mascara. I'm going to see better results than like a $7 or a $10. And as you can see the difference with this one and this one, this one has of course nothing. This is just like one coat. Um, I have to say it's, it is pretty good just for one coat. Um, I'm gonna put another coat after it dries a little bit. So, so far this is a pretty good one. But I have to say the L'Oreal does a pretty good with mascara, I always feel. 
I've tried the, I think it's like something, it starts with a T, I think. Oh, and I tried that and I really like that. I think that was a L'Oreal brand mascara. I think something topic something. But I saw this and I never tried this one. So I was like, okay, I'll try this. And I'm just like twisting it a little bit here. Now be mindful, you will see like little wisp, like little markings here. So you just gotta wipe that when you're done. Um, you know. But I do like it for the most part. I mean, having this just be your first coat is pretty nice. Um, now I'm gonna try the, now I'm gonna put on a second coat. Now I don't know how many coats I'm gonna need to make it uh, for me to be satisfied with it. I don't know, hopefully it's just two. Sometimes with mascara, you have to do, sometimes the coats are good for like at least two or three sometimes. One, I've never had mascara where I could just do one coat and I'm perfectly fine with it. I've never had that before. Uh, I always have to do more than one coat. I've always noticed that. With any mascara, it could be the most expensive mascara to the cheapest mascara. One coat is never enough. So that's what it looks like on the second coat. Again, this is only one coat. So you can see a subtle difference. Um, I do like it. I like the... I actually do really like this mascara. Again, like I said, it is a little bit more expensive, so be prepared for that. It's 12 bucks. I know some people don't want to be spending so much on mascara, but there's people there that spend 20 bucks on mascara, and I've done that too. And Now I have to say there is, see, now it's like, just be careful. Um, but yeah, I really do like how it looks. It doesn't, the one thing I like about it, it doesn't look clunky. It does look for the most part, pretty spread out as best as it, as best as it can be. Um, I'm just gonna do one more coat and I think I'm gonna be done. Um, Cause it's getting to the um, consistency, I like it, and the length. So there it is. That's the third coat. So I think I'm pretty much done. Now, if I want to go more dramatic, I guess I could do one more, but I don't see to go anymore. Like I said, we're not really going anywhere special today, so just doing some little, little errands with my mama. So, I'm not doing anything super fancy today. But yeah, I really do like it. It's, it is, um, it's pretty long, I, I must say. Um, it's a nice length of lashes so like so this is what it looks like on the side there so i do like it um i do very much so like it so this is a this is a pretty good mascara um yeah, so it's supposed to be voluminous, so give you a lot of volume with your lashes. And so um, it does give you, I feel like it does give you a little bit more of the length as well. 
So it's not just volume, but it's also length, I think. I, I think that most of it, majority of it though, I think it is more of a volume mascara than a, um, it's definitely volume for sure. Um, but it's not that cakey volume, I guess, if that makes any sense. It doesn't look cakey, which is nice. Um, or it doesn't look like overly cakey like the other one. The other one really did have that cakey look to it. And this one didn't have that over cakiness. So that's what I like about this one. Just wipe it off all the excess. Now again, I wouldn't use water to wipe it off. If I already had like mascara on, um, I mean eyeshadow on, I'd just use the dry, just let it dry for a bit. And then you know, and then it will just kind of flake off, right? Um, but yeah, I like it. The eyebrows are nice too, um, I have to admit. It's just, you can't do this by itself. That's the only thing with this. Like you can't really just use this by itself unless you have a full set, unless you have a good shape of your eyebrows already, that all you need, and you're only using this just to kind of fill in, then that's fine. But for me, I, for me, I kind of need to help shape my eyebrow before I, you know, fill in. So, that's why I feel like you do need like a regular eyebrow pencil just to kind of, you know, shape where, how you want your eyebrows to be. Um, I was hoping that's all I needed. I was hoping I could just do it with this one, but unfortunately it's not like that. Um, so it is what it is. Um, so, but it is good though. I do like how it, how it turned out. So that's good. I love how it turned out. So anyways, I will check back with you just in a few minutes. Hey everyone, so this is going to be the completion of the part two. Sorry, it's been so long. Uh, we're gonna be moving on to spring break vlogs. I actually, today was the last day of work. And so we are going to actually start doing spring break vlogs. I might have a, I might have a few. I don't know how many I'm gonna have because it all depends on how much I'm going to be able to record. And um, yeah, so this it, this does complete um, part two's vlog. So sorry, it's so long, but I wanted to do it now. So catch you later, bye.